Good morning, Caterpillar. Good morning, little Caterpillar. Maybe the Caterpillar doesn't understand me, but I don't speak Caterpillar language. Maybe if I talk more slowly, he may be able to understand me. Hmm. Dear Mr. Caterpillar, I'm not sure if you understand me or not, but I'd like to wish you a good morning since it's such a beautiful day and I'm so happy. And when I'm really happy, I like to wish my friends a good morning. Today is not a very good day. Why isn't it such a good day? I thought if I was having a good day, everyone else would be too. All my life I wanted to see the world and visit many places. But I'm just a simple caterpillar and I won't have the chance to see a single thing. No oceans, no forests, no volcanoes. <gasps> I've got the solution to your problem. You just have to move a little faster. And I don't mean a little faster, but a lot faster. Look at the way I move. If I go slow like you, I go very slow. But if I go very fast, I'm here now. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. And now I'm here. Now I'm here. And now I'm here. And now I'm here. Milo. I think we better go see what's wrong with Moo Moo. I wonder what's gotten into her. What's wrong, Moo Moo? There's nothing wrong with me. Our friend, Mr. Caterpillar, is sad because he wants to travel, but the poor thing is so slow. He never gets anywhere. So I was... Just telling him that if he moved fast, really fast, he'd get to more places. <sighs> but Moo Moo, you don't realize that you move really quickly because you're a fast cow. But Mr. Caterpillar could never move as fast as you. He's very little and doesn't have fat feet like you do. Hey, my feet are not fat. Mr. Caterpillar, don't be sad. I promise that in a few days, you'll be able to go as fast and as far as you want. But how would that be possible? Have you ever heard of metamorphosis? No. Well, it's something magnificent that's about to happen to you. Soon, you'll no longer be a simple caterpillar and will transform into the most beautiful and elegant butterfly of the valley. Mm, a butterfly? There comes a time when all caterpillars transform into precious butterflies, and then they can fly wherever they want. So when will I transform into a butterfly? The first thing you need to do is to spin a cocoon and then go to sleep in it. When you wake up, you'll already be a butterfly. Hmm. Thank you, my friends. You've made me very happy. Moo Moo, don't be impatient. It may take days before Mr. Caterpillar becomes a butterfly. I'll stay. As you wish. See you Goodbye. later.
He's coming out! He's coming out! Everyone, look! He's coming out! Come on, Mr. Caterpillar, you can do it! Come on! He's no longer Mr. Caterpillar, now he's Mr. Butterfly. Same difference. What's important is that he's been transformed into something beautiful. Yeah! Oh, he's, he's so, so pretty. pretty! I want to be a butterfly like him, so handsome and beautiful. And me too! You're so pretty! Fly, fly butterfly, butterfly, fly away! Fly, butterfly, fly wherever you want to go. Now nothing can prevent you from going anywhere you want. You can fly as freely as the wind. Mimo, tomorrow we can paint the tree house. What color do you want to paint it? I think brown would be a good color. All right, but we also have to make some chairs for the balcony and attach a swing to the trunk. What was that noise? I'm not sure, but it sounded like an elephant. An elephant? Let's check it out. Look, Milo, you are right. There is an elephant. She's really big and very pretty. Hello, friends. You don't need to whisper because I can hear from very far away. We didn't say anything. A while ago, you were talking about painting the treehouse. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, you really did hear us. Uh-huh. Makes sense, with such big ears. Uh, we heard a noise and came to see what was going on. I'm all right. It's just that I'm pregnant, and it won't be too long until I give birth. You're really going to have a little baby elephant right now? I think so. But I'm not very sure because it's my first time. I can't believe this. We're going to see how a little baby elephant is born. How exciting! We could stay here and watch, and we'll help you with whatever you need. That wouldn't be a problem for me. That way I won't be alone. Would you mind if I go and tell my friends when they hear that there's a pregnant elephant who's about to give birth? They're going to be dying to see it. Go right ahead. I'm not going anywhere. I'll stay here and keep you company. Hooray, hooray! <laughs> Momo! Rita! Alfred! Talalo! You have to come and see something incredible! Not now, Olga. We're sleeping. Momo, I promise you're going to love this. What could be so important? I don't want to tell you the whole story. Just come down and follow me. I promise you'll love it. Olga, everyone's sleeping and I'm really tired. So tell me what it is or I'm going back to bed. As you wish. There's an elephant who's about to give birth. Oh, great. I'm going back to bed. An elephant? About to give birth? A baby is about to be born! Everybody up! There's a baby about to be born! What's the matter, Moo Moo? Baby elephant is about to be born! Hurry, let's go! It's really incredible! Years ago, I saw how a rhinoceros was born in the jungle! A birth is something incredible and marvelous, and it's... it's... where's Olga? We're leaving now, Rita. Be patient. Patient? Run, Olga! Run! Tell me where she is. I want to see that elephant right now. Everybody quiet! I just can't believe it. The baby elephant sounds just like Milo. Hi, Moo Moo. And he even knows my name. It's incredible. That was Milo. The baby hasn't been born yet. Oh, of course. Yeah, I knew that. It's incredible that there's a baby inside her belly. Inside there? Yes, Moo Moo. The babies are inside the mother's belly. Huh? I knew that. Everybody knows that. But just one question. How does the baby get inside her belly? Huh? Well, Moo Moo, that's more complicated. 
The elephant has been carrying it inside her belly for two years. Mm, ouch! I think he's just about ready to come out. Is there anything we can do to help? I'd like you to start thinking of a name for me to give to my son. Uh, I can't think of a single name. Lucas! Then Lucas it is. It's coming out! <laughs> Look, you can see its head! He's almost out! It's really big! Whoa, how beautiful! Welcome to the world, Lucas! anything. You just have to let nature take its course and keep the mother company. You all did that very well. I hope you come visit us a lot so we could play with Lucas. We'd love to come visit you. We're gonna go now and leave you two alone so you could get to know each other. Yes, that would be great. Goodbye, Goodbye Mrs. Elephant. Elephant. Goodbye, Goodbye, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> That was really awesome. I've never seen anything so incredible. But there's still one thing I don't understand. What's that, Moo Moo? Mm, hello, baby. <laughs> we have to plant all these seeds. Luckily, with all of us helping, it shouldn't take too long. What do you want us to plant this year? I really like tomatoes, but I also like oranges and melons, and I also like watermelons and giant pumpkins and... Moo Moo, we don't have enough room to plant so many things. You have to choose just one. Tomatoes. Very good, tomatoes. What else, Alfred? I really like carrots a lot. And lettuce to Lolo. Well, what I really like are sausages. I like sausages too, but we can't plant them. Why can't we plant them? Everybody got to choose something to plant, and I didn't say anything. I want to plant sausages. Rita, sausages are neither fruits nor vegetables. We can't plant them. I know perfectly well that sausages can be planted, and I'm going to demonstrate. While Rita plants sausages, we're going to plant seeds. Moo Moo, you plant the tomato seeds. Alfred, you put in the carrot seeds. Talalo, you put in the lettuce seeds. And I'll plant the pumpkin seeds. You, Milo, you can plant the potatoes. Now, let's all get to work. Olga, how long does it take to grow tomatoes? Well, it takes about five or six months for them to grow and be ready to eat. I thought that tomatoes were grown in the supermarket, in their little containers, in their little rows, all neat and organized. Yes, Moo Moo, tomatoes are sold in the supermarket, but first somebody has to plant them like you're doing now. Then they need to be watered for many months, and they need to get a lot of sun, and only then will they grow into delicious, ready-to-eat tomatoes. And how long will Rita's sausages take to grow? When they see how these sausages grow, they're going to realize their big mistake. I'll put one sausage here and another here. This one looks so good, then I'm going to eat it. Nom, 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 nom. That was really good. Now I'm a little hungry. I can eat another one since I still have a lot left. I'm going to keep on planting sausages. Another here, and another here. 
Now I only need to wait about 10 minutes. Yum, 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 yum. Hello, Rita. Have you already planted your sausages? Yes, I've already planted all these. And do you really think they're going to grow? Well, of course, Momo. Soon we'll have the same sausages, but a whole lot bigger. That's how large sausages are made. Ah. May I eat one? They just look so good. All right, Moo Moo, but just one. While you're there, could you get one for me as well? It's amazing how much I like sausages. Well, I really like tomatoes, but they take so long to grow that I don't know if I'll be able to wait five months without tasting them. You have to wait five months? Yes. How long do you think it'll take for your super sausages to grow? Well, I don't know, but I was thinking five minutes. But if we have to wait so long, we might as well eat them now, right? Rita, you're hungry, aren't you? So catch this one and eat it. Yum, 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 yum. This one is so good. Now I'll throw you one. Yum, 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 yum. Throw me another one. Now you to me. Yum, 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 yum. I don't have any sausages left. Now what am I going to tell Olga when she sees I didn't plant anything? Rita, did you really believe that if you planted sausages in the ground, they'd grow? Now that you mention it, it's possible that there's a slim possibility that they wouldn't. But since Olga's always right, I had to contradict her. When Olga comes, just tell her that you made a mistake and that you didn't want to plant sausages. Tell her that you wanted to plant zucchini. Those will definitely grow if you plant them. Hi, Rita. Hi, Moo Moo. We've already planted everything in the vegetable garden. Tomorrow we need to go and water them. What's wrong, Rita? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm not looking at you in any way. It's my way of looking. Rita? Is something wrong? I thought you were going to plant sausages. The truth is that I did plant them, but we were so hungry that Momo and I ate them all. It's true, they were really good. But Olga, I already knew that sausages don't grow on the ground. Don't think that I'm not as clever as you are. Come on, Moo Moo, let's go. We need to plant a uh, zucchini. Milo, what are zucconis? In Rita's world, there's something like zucchini 